Hello, welcome back to my channel. Not too much, I just woke up. I actually recorded this video yesterday, but my computer lagged so much, it really didn't show up in the editing. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to quickly make a HUD. So we have a plushie here that I made. It's currently at Cake Day if you wanna buy it. Um, I'm gonna put on the screen the things you need to buy and the places you can go to purchase a HUD template. And if you're having trouble finding a HUD, you can go to this creator, Toxic Doll. She has plenty of HUDs for everyone. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to design a HUD because um, I'm on a toaster. So I'm just going to place the one that I already made here. Um, you're going to use select face and you're going to go to number four. And you're going to add your HUD here. Uh, okay usually it's number four i don't know why it says two on there but um i really think it doesn't matter um let's see the reason you see like the wood on the other side you're gonna go to select face and click transparent for all of them and then the main facing one that's where you put it your actual hut let's see my computer fans already going okay so once you download your I mean I said download once you have your script it's called render works we're not using the note card powered one because um I don't know how to use it For your object, we're going to put a resizer script in there. I use the Bosch um, resizer scripts plus stretch. I use that's the one I use. Now, my product has different faces and different links. So, what you're going to do is click edit link and we're going to Click each one, each link, like the eye, and we're going to drop the receiver script in each one. Okay, let's bring it up a little more. Let's get it down. So we have the texture change receiver because that's what's receiving the different colors in each of the edit links, right? And we're gonna double click the script and we're gonna change the channel, the channel number for each one in the link. So we're gonna put this at two, save, Double click. I'm gonna put this at three. Save this one. Four. Save and this one. Five. Save. Now for the HUD, you're gonna need a prim. I personally use the sphere as big as it is. I'm gonna scale it all the way down and we have to match it to our hood as best as possible. Because this is where they'll be clicking the buttons. And we're going to put the texture button change, the change button in this one. 
going to hold shift and drag so it can copy shift drag I'm going to fix up this one I'm going to hold shift hold shift Hold shift, hold shift, make this a little bigger. And then hold shift. So the body, we're gonna start with the top. The body, which would be this right here. Make sure you're in edit linked. The number, the channel number we chose was four. So we're gonna go to our button, double click, change the channel number to four, find the texture, make sure you upload your textures, and name them. It will be easier for you to name them so you don't get confused. So here's mine right here. We're gonna double click that and we're gonna copy the UUID. Click this button to copy it. And you're gonna see the string texture. You're gonna delete that, paste your new number. And we're gonna find the link. To find the link number, you click your body, make sure and edit link. And the link number is gonna pop up right here. So you're just going to click 7, click save, and let's try it. There you go. So let's do the next one. Double click, rework channel number 4, find your other one, your other texture, click UUID, click OK. Paste it, change the link number to 7, click save, let's try it, and there you go, let's do the eyes now. So we have the right eye, we have one in pink and one in red. So we're going to edit the right eye, make sure you're in edit link, link number 2, and we put number 2 for the channel. So you're going to go here, double click, change that to 2, find the right pink, which would be this one, click UUID, paste the number here, and then the link number, which is 2, set it to 2 here, and save, and then we have the red one, for the right eye. Double click, change it to two, write red, UUID, paste, link number two, save, okay, let's try it, bam, bam, next, left eye, edit link, link number is six, the channel number we chose is three. I'm gonna go here to the button, double click, channel three, find it, left pink, UUID, paste, pink number six, save, next. You got the left red click copy UUID channel three link six paste UUID save let's try it left is pink and red there we go now we have the bottom uh, right here 
make sure you're in edit link click the bottom link number is five channel number five as well what a coincidence i didn't even peep that so go to our button click five nope link set five find the ash bottom is ash right here UUID save next button channel number five link number five get your next texture UUID paste it save Let's try it out. There we go. So now the lids here. I don't have um I don't have a HUD for it. There's no need to change the color. So we're gonna find the texture. That's the right lid. Copy UID and we're going to paste it right here and apply the left lid. Copy UID texture, paste and apply. Take off link, and here's our plushie with a different HUD. Uh, make sure you're on copy, take off transfer name your plushie make sure your resizer is in there and we're done with this part now this part right here you're gonna click on your button hold down shift so you can select multiple ones we got two four six eight it tells you how much you have selected and we're gonna go to texture and we're gonna hit transparent so they can see what they're clicking and then you're going to click your HUD nine objects now you're going to click link name it make sure it's on copy take off transfer now that it's linked together you can add your resizer to it in case it's too big for the screen, your customers will be able to make it smaller themselves. So we're gonna take our HUD, put it in inventory, and you want to right click and attach the HUD and center. Now you're probably like, why don't I see it? You probably need to edit it. Usually it's on phase four, but it was on phase two for us. So if you happen to be on the wrong phase, just click edit and rotate till you see your HUD. Obviously this is a bit too small. So now you can resize it as big as you want. Drag it to the side and now let's test it. So we have the body, okay, pink eyes, red eyes, the ash and the weed at the bottom. And that's how you make a simple HUD. Now, to make HUDs, I use like to design your HUD. This is real basic, I must fix it up soon in the future. I usually use Canva. Um, Canva has plenty of options for you to choose from. I'm not going to show you guys in the details how to create your own HUD specifically because like, you know, I feel like that's easy to do. You know, you have different shapes, your text and whatnot. Make it yours. Right. And um, thank y'all for 1,100 1,100 subscribers on YouTube I really appreciate it 
I have another video coming out. A lot of you have been asking me how I take my pictures on Firestorm and make it so clear. I don't even know how because I have a MacBook Air from like 2019 or something. And my fan is going. I don't even know if y'all can hear my fan. And clearly I lag a lot. So, but most likely because I'm recording a video. But, um, yeah, this is how you make your HUD. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on my Instagrams. I'm going to drop them. And, yeah. Bye.